Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is not April Fools but it is from Steamforged, the April Fools edition of uh, a Guild Ball miniature which of course is Veteran Captain Salt. A long time running meme at the Steamforged forums and Facebook groups and finally it's here in a beautiful miniature form with a special rule card which is not tournament legal uh, but very, very fun. So let's have a look at both the rules and the miniature under the hard cam now. Alright, so welcome back to this review of Veteran Captain Salt and his rules. So obviously this model was only available on April 1st um, from Steamforge Games. Hopefully uh, it will be available next April 1st as well if you like the model and want to purchase it. Uh, it is not tournament legal to use the um, the rules but I would find that you could probably use the model anyway um, and the rules in friendly games. So let's have a look inside and see what we get. So obviously uh, as with all Steamforged blisters there is a card inside the uh, art backing so we have the backing there with the art of veteran Captain Salt and here we have his rules. But there is also the normal Salt card in there if you want to use him as the normal model. We also get the miniature and a base and it's quite a tiny cool miniature. Uh, not as tiny as the original Salt because he was really really tiny. So um, first let's see the rules. So if we can uh, get a zoom in on this. Alright, so here we have veteran Captain Salt in all its glory. You can see he has a 6.5 um, slash 9 move stat. His attack is 7, he's got a 4-9 kick, his defense is 5 plus, armor 1 and 3-5 influence. So he's, um, he's uh, level 1. Um, Playbook result is uh, either two momentous damage or a momentous tackle. Uh, he has uh, a weirdly uh, on a moment uh, on a two playbook result is momentous one damage or a double dodge. He has the guild wall symbol uh, momentously on um, on the third playbook row, uh, as well as a knockdown, um, and then he has a non momentous tackle, uh, as well as a push dodge. Guild Ball symbol momentously on the fourth column and on the fifth column he has a f amazing four damage as well as a triple dodge triple push result which is horribly good um, I mean for a six uh, seven tack model to have a five uh, wide playbook with all the cool other tooling up stash he has uh, it is quite quite cool so speaking of the guild ball symbols you can of course use that to um, to um, use the character place so he has a character break called swashbuckled both players must speak in the pirate accents are uh, the first place to forget this um, to do so is the big old loser and uh, their opponent gains one VP so <laughs> First playbook result, um, other than of course the, um, well, a couple of others, uh, Kaski Time as well as uh, as uh, Veteran Catalyst and uh, Cena uh, to gain extra VPs for takeouts. And you have also Where They Go. Um, this model may make a 4 inch dodge. You can also cast both these abilities using one influence. Um, and yeah. It is, uh, it is quite, quite cool. Uh, he has a uh, 13 um, health bar, and then we have his stats. So, uh, Salt has four character traits. Uh, we have Black Sails at Midnight. When this model makes an attack against an enemy model is in, uh, engaged by another friendly model, this model gains a ship full of booty and becomes the terror of the high seas. Yeah, it does absolutely nothing. Um, but it is a cool trait to have, I guess. Uh, the Dread Pirate, Salt. This model is not left-handed. Um, this model may make counterattacks without spending magic points. Obviously a pun uh, on the Dread Pirate, Roberts. Uh, I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! 
look at me, I'm on a boat. So, <laughs> I can't sing that song, sorry. Um, when this model uses where they go before this model um, moves, uh, friendly models within two inches of this model may immediately make it four inch dodge and look magnificent while they're at it. Lovely! And there's a big difference mm, between most dead and all dead. I don't know where that pun comes from, but um, probably somebody will tell me in the comments below. And thank you for that. Once per turn, when this model is reduced to 0 HP before suffering the taken out condition, this model may recover 3 HP and shake his tiny fist at those who have wronged him. So it makes him really, really hard to take out. Obviously, a captain with uh, with only a 13 health bar, obviously being 5 plus 8 plus um, 1 armor makes him really tough to take out anyway. But yeah, <laughs> it, is, it is quite cool. He's on a 30 mil base, and um, and yeah, it is really cool. Uh, his uh, his well, his keywords are Asnoran, animal, captain, top lad, veteran, and April Fool fittingly. So that's uh, that it for the for the rules themselves. Tell me in the comments below what you think about the rules. Uh, do you think this could be <laughs> could be used in normal games? I think not, but uh, but yeah, I'd like to to hear your opinion about this as well. But going to the model itself now, and see if we can really, really zoom in on this. This model is an absolute beauty. I, I really think this is a fantastic model uh, of salt. He has his tiny, uh, his tiny rag on his uh, on his head. He has uh, earrings. He has a hook in his uh, his left hand, as well as a uh, as a tiny, tiny fist. A sword in his belt. Uh, behind him here, a massive flowing cape. I really, really think this is a cool model. Um, yeah, magnificently cool salt model. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comments below. All right, so that leaves us with uh, with nothing left on this review. Um, please join us next time uh, for more reviews of Guild Ball. We do have the um, the uh, Paying the Piper box from Rat Catchers Guild and more to come, so, uh, so do check that out. Uh, until then, I've been Andreas Norwegian Viking, and this has been my review of Veteran Captain Salt Limited Edition April Fool's Edition. And uh, do uh, comment, like, share, and subscribe consider supporting STF on Patreon using the link in the description below. And as always, support your hobby.